Most of us have already heard of the great white shark, one of the most impressive predators in the ocean. However, the great white isn't the only type of shark that should be feared. There are many different species of shark that are equally as ferocious, yet possibly even more terrifying. While most of these sharks don't attack humans unless they're provoked, this list will certainly give you something to be concerned about the next time you're taking a dive into the ocean. Today, we'd like to introduce you to 11 rare species of shark that are hiding in the ocean. But before we get started, make sure you hit that like button and ring the notification bell for more videos. Also, be sure to stick around for number two, because it's super creepy. Collared Shark when you first look at a collared shark, it may not look like a shark at all. For many people, these sharks look more like eels than anything else. However, don't be fooled. This interesting fish is a member of the shark family and is just as deadly as the other sharks on this list. The collared shark typically reaches a length of about one and a half meters. They are most often found in the deep sea regions of the Atlantic, Indian, and Pacific Oceans. Even though we've only known about these creatures since the 1870s, these sharks have been around for many, many years. It's estimated that the collared shark first arrived on our planet long before humans were around, with some scientists saying they may have been swimming around the oceans at the same time as dinosaurs. Because of this, they've often been referred to as living fossils. Each of these small sharks is known to have around 300 individual teeth, allowing them to tear through flesh without a second thought. For the most part, they hunt squid. However, if they feel threatened, there's no telling what they may do. Considering these sharks most often live at depths of around 1,280 meters, it would be extremely unusual for them to ever attack a human. Spotted Sea Sow this is a very bizarre-looking shark that most people have never heard of. The spotted sea sow is a type of shark that belongs to a much larger family of fish known as pig sharks. These sharks are much smaller than some of the others on this list, and they can often be found in the Mediterranean, Atlantic, and Pacific Oceans. They can grow to be around one and a half meters long, or just larger than about four feet. Like many of the sharks we'll be discussing today, these sharks are rarely ever spotted by humans. That's because they live deep within the ocean and virtually never make their way to the surface. For the most part, these sharks will live in depths of between 60 and 770 meters. Since these sharks can live in either the northern or southern hemisphere, their appearance can change quite a bit depending on where they're from. The southern sharks will often have widely spaced dorsal fins. However, the sharks that live in more northern regions will often have fins that are much closer together. They also have a unique way of giving birth. While their young are developed in eggs, these eggs rarely ever leave the mother's body. Instead, they'll hatch inside the eggs when they're still within their mother's womb, then exit the body afterward. It's pretty creepy to think about. Pointed Head Seven Gill Shark The name of this shark may describe it all. These sharks are best described as having very pointed heads, but it's not their heads that makes them so interesting. In reality, it's the fact that they have seven gills. As far as we know, virtually every other species of shark is only born with five gills. However, the pointed head seven gill shark, as the name suggests, has a total of seven gills. We don't know if these gills provide any benefits over other sharks, but if nothing else, it's a very interesting feature. These sharks are very special because they're native to almost every ocean in the world. They are carnivores, meaning they eat smaller fish, crustaceans, and other marine life. 
For the most part, they'll hang out near the seabed and lie in wait for their prey to reveal itself. What's also very interesting about these sharks is the way they give birth. Many sea creatures will give birth by laying dozens of tiny eggs. However, this particular shark does the opposite. It will give birth to live sharks. Most litters will consist of 20 sharks or less, meaning every one of these terrifying creatures can give birth to more than a dozen other sharks at any given moment. Bow-fronted hammerhead shark one of the more popular sharks that we'll cover today is the bow-fronted hammerhead shark. This shark is very interesting because of the shape of its head. It's unlike any other shark in existence, making its characteristics unique to hammerhead sharks. These sharks are very large, often measuring between 3.7 and 4.3 meters long. They'll most often be found in tropical or subtropical areas where temperatures are much milder. While these sharks do pose a risk to humans, it's actually the inverse of this that is most common. Yes, humans actually pose a much larger risk to the sharks than the other way around. That's because many years ago, the fins and skin of these sharks were considered to be very valuable. These days, laws have prevented these sharks from being poached for their skin. However, years ago, these sharks were being killed by the dozens simply to harvest their bodies parts. Because of this, attacks against humans are very rare these days. However, that isn't because the sharks have calmed down over the years. Instead, it's simply because so many have been killed that these sharks are very rare to spot in the wild. Sea cats or ghost sharks Sea cats are a very unique species of shark that's often referred to as a ghost shark. When underwater, the upper layer of the shark's skin is nearly transparent, and many veins and organs can be seen through its skin. This shark is particularly creepy because its face appears to be a mix between a cat and a human, with its nose and eyes appearing quite human, reminding us of the infamous blobfish that looks like a human's face was melted during a science experiment gone wrong. A brand new species of ghost shark was discovered back in 2017 in South Africa. This discovery was particularly important because ghost sharks are known to be very rare. Finding a new species of shark is almost unheard of. This shark measured around 3 feet long, which makes it one of the largest ghost sharks to ever be found. This new species is only the 50th ghost shark species to have ever been found and plays a huge role in revealing new information about these sharks to researchers. The creepy thing about sharks like this is that, considering how clear their skin appears to be, you may not realize you're swimming near one until it's far too late. Goblin Shark the goblin shark is one of the most disturbing-looking animals in existence. This creature looks prehistoric and is often referred to as a living fossil because these sharks are expected to have existed for millions of years. They can grow to be up to 13 feet long, but usually live deep within the ocean. Because of this, sharks of this species pose a very small risk to humans. If you ever see one of these sharks floating in a body of water, close enough to the surface that you can see them, they're probably very sick and would pose no risk to humans whatsoever. Though it's still best to stay far away from these creatures if you do happen to spot one in the wild. Most goblin sharks have been found at depths of at least 330 feet below the ocean's surface, meaning you'll likely never see one at any point in your life unless you're a deep-sea diver. However, that won't keep you from having them in the back of your mind the next time you take a dip in the ocean. While scientists believe that these sharks have been roaming the Earth for many years, they were only discovered by humans in 1898. One of the scariest facts about these sharks is that they belong to a family of mackerel sharks. This may not mean much to most of us. However, you have to realize that this is the same family of sharks that led to the fearsome great white shark and, most scary of all, the megalodon. 
Bull Shark Contrary to its many relatives, the bull shark is able to survive in the freshwater areas of the Amazon rainforest. These sharks are one of only a few species that do not live in salt water, and they live abundantly in the Amazon rainforest. These swimming hunters are known for being remarkably strong and are covered in dense muscle that helps them have the upper hand among their marine life competition. Thankfully, a bull shark attacking a human is quite rare. In total, there have only been 23 cases ever documented in which a bull shark attacked a human, though some experts believe these numbers are considerably higher, yet the victims never survived the attack to make a report. It's believed that many attacks that are associated with great white sharks may actually be the cause of a bull shark, but we just don't know for sure. Each of these sharks grows to be approximately 3.3 meters long and about 200 kilograms. They are extremely heavy, and they often eat bony fish, mollusks, and crabs. However, when the going gets tough, they'll even resort to eating other sharks in a terrifying showdown to the death. Megalodon these sharks were ridiculously huge. They measured between 14 and 16 meters long, making them much longer than your average school bus. They're closely related to the great white shark. If you thought the movie Jaws was creepy, just imagine seeing one of these beasts floating around next to your boat. The megalodon was a huge species of shark, but it's difficult to explain just how massive this fish really was. This species is believed to have gone extinct sometime around 3 million years ago, so it's unlikely that these sharks ever coexisted with humans, though it's definitely still possible. What's interesting about these monsters is that they are often lumped into the same batch of animals as dinosaurs. If you believe the timeline that science has set forth about the life and death of dinosaurs, we could assume that dinosaurs most likely died off around 65 million years ago. That means that these sharks would have lived more than 60 million years after the final dinosaur passed away. Whale Shark The largest fish in the world is believed to be the whale shark. These sharks can grow to be over 60 feet long and hold several records for being one of the largest animals ever. These sharks are usually found in tropical oceans and live in water that's around 70 degrees. They can live for about 70 years, though some have been estimated to live for well over 100 years. They are filter-feeding animals, meaning that they usually feed on plankton and small fish and will never attack a human, even though they are utterly terrifying. They were first discovered in 1828, after a fisherman managed to harpoon one of the behemoths while on a fishing trip. The jaws of these sharks are around 5 feet wide, meaning that they could very easily swallow you whole, but they choose not to. The whale shark is an endangered species, but scientists are hopeful that they'll be able to repopulate and remove themselves from this list over time. Basking Shark the basking shark is known for being one of the largest animals in the world. These sharks are only surpassed by the whale shark, securing the basking shark as being the second largest shark in the world. These sharks are somewhat unique because they're not carnivorous like most other sharks are. Instead, they feed almost exclusively on plankton. To eat, the shark will swim through the sea with its mouth ajar, swallowing everything in its path. These sharks are often found in cold climates, but they'll live in somewhat warm areas as well. However, they're never seen swimming around in hot areas. They can filter up to 1,800 tons of water in just one hour. Two-Headed Shark a Florida man made the discovery of a lifetime when he went deep-sea fishing one day. He managed to capture a two-headed shark. This may sound like a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. However, just a short while later, in the Indian Ocean, 
another fisherman managed to capture the exact same thing, a two-headed bull shark. Scientists believe that these occurrences are simply down to a genetic mutation rather than being an all-new species of shark. However, what exactly caused this mutation is not known. It's been theorized that this boils down to inbreeding, as the gene pool of many shark species seems to be getting smaller each year. However, no one really knows for sure. Thanks for watching. Be sure to hit that like button and ring the notification bell for more videos.